Welcome back guys to another feeding video here at Hostways Exotics. Today we're going to be feeding the boa constrictor. The boa constrictor, constrictor is the scientific name for this particular species. And today we're going to be feeding him a pretty large mouse. So I think we got to get our mouse moving around because he ain't really been too keen on that. While I get you guys settled in at a good angle. See our snake. He's over there doing snake stuff. So, let's see. We can't get our little mouse friend moving around some here. There we go. Boom! Slide you in here on the action now. Oh, got something tangled up with the mic. Oh god, we got stuff everywhere. Mayday, mayday. Oh god, oh god, There's stuff everywhere. Jesus. Oh god. All right, oh, there we go, guys. Whew. He put a good squeeze on him. He got poop coming out of his rear end. Whew. Man, I had stuff flying everywhere for a second. I grabbed one thing and the, and the microphone cable got tugged and then stuff started flying everywhere, falling over. Sheesh. We're all over the place with it today at Hostways Exotics, man. But, you know, we got to stay fresh. You never know what'll happen here. Ooh-wee. We good to go, though. I'm glad I'm checking on them and making sure everything's good with them. Because I haven't really bothered with them in over, like, a week or two. I've been kind of busy doing some other stuff. But gave him some fresh water, move his bedding around a little bit. We're going to move his hides around. Spray everything down, get it good and moist in here. And, you know, make sure he's good to go. Probably going to change his bedding out here another week or so. Put him some fresh mulch in here, just like with some of the other snakes. I normally do that about once a month, once every two or three weeks. Just give him fresh mulch, because I normally just spot clean everything once a week. Make sure there's no poop or anything that they're just laying on. Kind of like what my buddy here on the other side kind of did. He pooped all over his whole cage. There's a feather last week, along with other ball pythons, because they generally poop once a week, and I feed them once a week. Same thing even with the rattlesnake, you know, I'll do the same thing with them. If I got to take them out to get the poop and stuff out, I'll do that, and, you know, do my usual maintenance stuff. He's putting a good squeeze on this thing. I know that mouse is gone. Whew. This little snakey snake is all done. I think we're going to feed him one more mouse just to make him happy and make sure he is good and full so he can make sure he get a good shed coming up soon because I feel like it's about that time. So I'll throw him a little another mouse in here and see what he does with it. Let me close my little lid up with all my other mice on him. Let me get you guys pulled back a little bit here. You can really see what's going on. Uh oh, see, he's over there with him. Go back over there to the other side. Boom! Woo. That wasn't a snatch from all hell. Good Lord have mercy. Shit fire and save the matches, y'all. God damn. Caught 
caught him mid stride that time. So we have a little bit of 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 a little